Drone Video Operation Tutorial Product Accessories List Charging Demonstration Insert the charging cable into the battery charging port and connect the other end to the power supply. The battery indicator light indicates that it is charging, and the full charge indicator light remains on constantly. Insert the charging cable into the charging port of the remote control and connect the other end to the power supply. The remote control indicator light indicates the charging is in progress, and the full charge indicator light remains on constantly. Preparations before flight. Install the battery of the drone. Remove the joystick and install the remote control joystick. The map of the corresponding area needs to be downloaded before the flight. Swipe left on the screen to bring up the operation bar. Click to return to the main interface. Click settings to enter the settings. Click on the internet to connect to Wi-Fi or a mobile phone hotspot. After the connection is successful, click back to go back to the settings. Swipe left on the screen to bring up the operation bar. Click to select APP to enter the app. Click on the map to enter it. Slide the screen to find the map of the corresponding area. Click to download the map of the corresponding area. Click back to return to on the app screen. Click control to enter the real-time transmission screen. Click control to enter the real-time transmission screen. Click on the map to enter it and slide the screen to view the map of the corresponding area. Remove the obstacle avoidance cover. Install the obstacle avoidance module. Remove the Pantel protective cover. Extend the arm of the unmanned aerial vehicle Place the drone on a horizontal ground. Press briefly first, then long press until all the lights are constantly on to turn on the drone. Automatic calibration of the drone gimbal. Press the remote control switch briefly first and then press it long when the indicator light flashes and then remains constantly on. The remote control is turned on. When the slow flashing of the drone's lights changes to a constant front light and a slow flashing of the rear light, it indicates successful frequency matching. After the frequency alignment is successful, open the app interface and the connection is successful. Press the level calibration button. At this moment, the remote control made a beep sound, the front and rear lights flashed quickly and the pan tilt automatically moved downward. Pick up the drone. Rotate the drone clockwise in the horizontal direction until the remote control makes a beep sound to indicate successful calibration. At this point, the front lights flash rapidly while the rear lights remain constantly on indicating a successful calibration. Rotate the drone clockwise in the vertical direction until the remote control makes a beeping sound to indicate successful calibration. At this time, the front light is constantly on and the rear light is flashing slowly indicating that the calibration is successful. Reposition the unmanned aerial vehicle on a horizontal ground after the horizontal alibration is successful. The pantil will automatically return to its proper position. Press the calibration gyroscope button to calibrate the gyroscope. Calibration is successful when the drone's lights change from flash to constant front light and slow rear light. Place GPS signals for star search in an open area. Search for more than nine stars and you can take off. The GPS search was successful when the lights on both the front and rear arms of the unmanned aerial vehicle were constantly on. Press the takeoff button briefly to unlock the propeller. Press and hold the takeoff button for a long time and the drone will take off with one click, rise, decline, left rotation, rotate right, move forward, retreat, fly to the left, fly on the right side, turn the zoom wheel to zoom the drone lens, turn the adjustment roller of the pan tilt to achieve the up and down adjustment of the drone pan tilt. Click on APP to take a photo to achieve APP photo taking. Click the menu, select APP recording, 
Click Start Recording, then click Record again to end and save the video. Remove the SD card of the drone. Insert the remote control and you can view photos and videos. Click the album button on the APP to enter and view the photos taken. Select the video album to view the recorded videos. Click back to return. To the real-time transmission screen, click settings to view the drone settings. Click on the obstacle avoidance function and swipe right to activate the obstacle avoidance mode. When controlling the drone to fly forward, backward, left and right scan for obstacles and stop it. Press and hold the airdrop button of the drone for a long time to hang the airdrop. Press and hold the drone airdrop button for a long time to achieve the airdrop function. The default startup mode is low speed. After pressing to beep beep sounds indicate medium speed, press it and make three beep beep sounds to set it to high speed. Press the one key return button. The unmanned aerial vehicle initiates an intelligent return flight. Indoor flight. Press and hold the GPS button for a long time and the GPS will switch to indoor flight mode. The headlights are always on and the rear lights flash slowly fly in indoor mode. Press the one A key calibration button to calibrate the gyroscope. Calibration is successful when the drone's lights change from flash to constant front light and slow rear light. Press the one key takeoff button briefly to unlock the motor. Push the joystick upwards and the drone takes off. Indoor optical flow positioning. Before using Quaya, search for it in the App Store and download and install it. Click on the FastTooth on the remote control to enter FastTooth. Click on the photos or videos in Quaya and slide the screen to view them. Click on the photos or videos in Quaya and slide the screen to view them. Click transfer to enter the transfer interface. Click on the group to enter it. Click create group to create a group. Open the quick tooth on your phone. Scan the QR code on the remote control to join the group. After successfully joining the mobile phone, find the photos or videos you want to transfer on the remote control, click send to share to the created group. After a successful sharing, you can view the photos or videos shared by the remote control on your mobile phone. Replace the fan blades. Use a screwdriver to unscrew the screws of the old fan blade and remove it. Pay attention to distinguishing the arms A and B from the fan blades A and B. Install the corresponding fan blades onto the corresponding arms and complete the replacement.